Hello, Sagittarius. It's my lady from a lady's way here, and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend. No, sorry, your weekly reading for the week of 9/11 through 9/18/2017. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Okay, just make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising sign, Sagittarius. And let's get this on the road. All right. What's going on with Sagittarius? Sagittarius, 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 love reading. Sagittarius, what's going on with the Sagittarius? Love reading for nine. 11 through 9, 18, 2017, 9, 11. Through 9, 18, 2017, Sagittarius. What's going on? Mm, so, people are trying to empower their self. The Sagittarius is trying to empower their self. Okay, so... I don't know why I feel like somebody is getting really rid of stuff. So, I mean, maybe a spring cleaning in the fall kind of thing going on. But um, I feel like somebody is getting rid of heaviness. Like anything that's causing them harm or or heartache or um, just any kind of emotional stress in their life. They like get out of here, you know. Okay, yeah. So, you guys are coming out of a po point where you're having um bad dreams like you're coming you're getting out of your head about stuff it's not like a if i do this she'll do that or he'll do that kind of thing anymore it's just like if you cause me stress you know you're a burden away with burdens <laughs> so it's like somebody is a uh, cleaning house right now okay Ooh, okay, so um, this may be because a secret is revealed or maybe the secret being revealed is you like starting like out of the blue, like zero drama. All right, let's see what this secret is about. What is these secrets for the Sagittarius? What are these secrets for the Sagittarius for? I don't know why June just popped up. That was a long time ago, so maybe something happened in June. All right, what's going on with the Sagittarius 9-11 through 9-11 through 9-18? Okay, so something going on with somebody, different race, religion, eth ethnical background, just different. Could be different classes to pay rates, whatever. But I feel like this person may um, be... Um, The secret might be coming from somebody else to you. But let's see. What is this? I still want to know. What are these secrets? Okay. So, something about a timeout. <laughs> let's see. What are these secrets about for the Sagittarius? One card, please. Secrets. What are they? Okay. So, I don't know what it is. But it's something about somebody timing out. Um, somebody with a different... Uh, social views or a social living but somebody is thinking about maybe somebody thinking about leaving you or i mean i guess this is the whole story you're thinking about leaving somebody but something isn't gonna end up right so i'm gonna um oh, geez it's gonna go longer than it's supposed to but um i'm gonna pull a card what is this future fate reversed about what is this future fate reversed about wow um all right, maybe the Cleo cards will tell us. But this is just basically saying you might end up having to do something. You might end up having to let something go. And it's not going to be good when you first leave it. But it's a wise decision to be made, whatever this situation is. So it's saying, like, whatever you're getting ready to let go, you're going to be hurting for a while for it. But you need to do this, okay? Mm. Okay, so this is basically saying you might have found out that somebody doesn't love you or maybe it's just no love in the overall situation, you know? Mm. Okay, so it seems like somebody might have made you give up something or you made somebody else give up something. 
Oh, sorry, you can't even see these cards, but I think you saw them at first, but. All right, but let's see what this sacrifice, what is this sacrifice for the Sagittarius? What's going on? Sagittarius, Sagittarius, what is this sacrifice for the Sagittarius? Mm. Okay, so maybe somebody might have left their ex for somebody. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. All right, what is this unseen event for the Sagittarius? What's going on? I don't know. Pisces just jumped up in my head. I don't know what that means. All right, so it seems like somebody been doing some ugly, evil things with their ex. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it means. Maybe you guys know, but I don't. But whatever this situation is going on, somebody is not looking at it for as bad as it really is. Okay? So maybe your ex or whoever you letting go over here, they ain't, they're not looking at it for as messed up as what it is. Or this could be one of your exes that you letting go of because of their, um, they might have cheated on you with an ex and then their negativity. You know? All right, what's going on for the Sagittarius? Sagittarius. What's going on with the Sagittarius for 9-11 through 9-18? All right, what is this? All right, so right now, this, I'm sorry, but this feels like oh, somebody just I'm trying to say that they love you, but you don't feel it. You don't. You know they don't. I mean, that's just what I'm getting from that card. I like to uh, read these straight out the books and sure you get your full message. So let's get this shit in a row. What's going on? Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What's going on for the love reading of Sagittarius 9-11 through 9-18-2017? Mm. Okay, so I don't know why I just saw the Ten of Pentacles reverse. So somebody must have dumped a lot of money out. I don't know. Some of you might even be leaving your partners for your exes. But your exes are no good. Okay. Mm. Scorpio. Mm -mm. Jeez. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, when I look at this. All right. So, when I look at this, I see that, you know, this a situation is about to end. You're definitely about to have some kind of transformation in your life. And what's going to happen is, I mean, you're going to be strapped for cash. You're going to be strapped, strapped for materialistic thing. You're giving up a lot to go on your way. And this three makes me feel like you might just be going to be with somebody else. Or um, maybe both of you are going to be with somebody else. Or you just might be just going on on a solo mission. But this right here, like, I feel... Like, you're going to be happy with peace of mind, but you're not going to have all the things that you need. And that's basically what I see. But let me read the cards for you. And the cards. We have the death card as the first card. And it's upright. And it says, a dramatic change, the end of a current situation, and death life begins again. Um, the beginning of a new situation. Yeah, so it's like somebody is trying to change their whole life around. They shouldn't everything down okay four we got the four of coins all right four coins a person who may uh want too much is indicated a person who indulges himself and uh really anyone else so basically yeah you're gonna have to be like i can't run around paying for everybody lunch anymore because i'm taking care of myself now i don't have a husband i don't have a wife i don't have a girlfriend i don't have a boyfriend you know i don't have any kind of support so all i got is my job and i need that for my bills that's what i'm feeling here all right three of staffs three 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 all right and it says now is the time to work hard for what you want do not let the opportunity pass you by others may bring you news of advancement so I don't know, possibly somebody might be getting ready to leave a job and go get a better one. But whatever this situation is, I feel like somebody's going to leave it, then it's going to be like a flat line, and then it's going to come out better than what it was, but not as great as you want it to be. All right, so we got the sun, reverse, 
Sun, 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 sunshine. I don't know why I was trying so hard not to sing that song, but it came out anyway. All right, um, the same, da, 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 a time of absolute joy and peace, happiness. Um, you look after, you know, you look at life as gifts full of future fortune. So many good things approach. Everything you touch will lead to success and ultimate success. So it's basically like, it's going to be better than what it was. It's going to feel pretty good, you know. Not as good as you expected, but good. Alright, so we have the Eight of Cups. This is the card that has been following your whole reading. So Eight of Cups says, it may be time to move on and start new plans. Do not let your pride stop you from making a change. So it's like, uh, you don't want to lose things. You don't want to get wrapped up in craziness. You just want to leave the situation. But you're thinking you shouldn't because you don't want to lose your stuff. So it's basically get your, get out your head about that, which is this card back there. You know, um, it's basically saying everything's going to be all right. You know, time to let go and jump. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Um, and everybody, um, uh, if you can, find somewhere to donate to the people affected by these um, hurricanes and stuff. I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, the only thing I can do is um, pray and donate a little bit. So if anybody can do that too, so we can, you know, get some help out there to those people suffering from this. Uh, but, I mean, I feel like prayer is the most thing that we can do. But that's all I ask and that's all I have. Have a great week, guys.